This is Harlem Globetrotter stuff from Weber. What a finish from TJ Perinara. Look at these clowns. <laughs> <laughs>to the final two and a half minutes. From memory, pretty sure we set a ruck in the middle of the field and I just see an opportunity. I'm up against a, a loose forward, I'm pretty sure it is, and I see an opportunity to have a go on him. And I make a step. Now I'm looking for the speed because I'm not the fastest dude on the field, but we've got some pretty quick dudes um, in our team. And I see George Bridge, who's playing left wing at the time, and I try and beat the next defender as well and end up sort of falling over and throw a pass to Bridgie and then he creates another ruck and because I'm a nine I'm used to going to the ruck so I ran to the ruck but then Webby's there as well who's playing nine I'm playing ten but Rico's also there and Rico's actually the one who picks the ball up and he offloads the ball to Webby and then I see like an opportunity just to track off Webby like Webby's a quick dude but there's defenders in front of him and so I try and get to the space close to the sideline. And I'm just asking for a normal pass from Webby. And then I see Webby like pretend he's going into contact and then flick the ball behind his back. And it's a it's an awesome pass and I, it ends up landing. So I just back myself to go on the outside. Uh, and the um, hooker makes a play at me, the team makes a play and I just try and get the ball down. Brilliant work from this, I don't know what to call him, whether he's a substitute scrum half, outside half, TJ Perinara. It's an electric play from that man. Perinara finishing what he started with a little bit of help from Brad Webber. Yep. We're ringing to talk about that try that um, if our roles were switched, you'd probably go under the sticks and it doesn't get World Cup uh, or the try of the year <laughs> anyway, bro. So, um, <laughs> what were you thinking when you threw the pass out the back? I wasn't really thinking, I just like blacked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It just, it just sort of happened because like, I don't have a lot of razzle, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> so I just remember like trying to, I could hear you, but I couldn't see you anywhere. So I was like, where is this guy? Yeah, yeah. And then realized that you were staying there. So I was like, oh, the only way I could get it to you was by doing that. Yeah. And then I was just like, oh, please finish this. Like, <laughs> yeah, seeing you actually score on the corner. I was just like, wow, that, what a freak. Two things I remember mostly about that is um, one, I remember afterwards being real sheepish, like going back into the sheds because I thought Shay would be like, well, oh, there's no, no, uh, shouldn't be doing any flashy stuff like that yeah, out right, there. Yeah. Like, like, your normally party, I was like, yeah. So I was, yeah, I was like keeping my head down, like he's gonna, he's gonna grill me for it. But then yeah. I seen later that he was like stoked as about us. So I was like, yeah, oh, God, nice. like genuine uh, relief. Yeah. But then the other thing I thought was like, during the week, I think when we were training, you and Reeks, and it might have been like Sevu. That was we're like Geordie, I'm pretty those sure. NR yeah. Geordie, was a Geordie. Practicing those like NRL style yeah, finishes in the corner. <laughs> yeah. And I remember like talking to George Bridge and being like, look at these clowns. Like, <laughs> especially you, especially you. Like, yeah. What's TJ doing over there? We could understand Geordie and Reeks. And fair play to you, bro. And where have you got the... Um, Trophy. It's not on display anyway. Uh, the, um, well, I wanted to win the World Cup, right? Like winning the World Cup. So, even getting that award true. at that ceremony was like a little bit bittersweet. Like, I've gone up there and scored a cool try. And there's South Africa over there, like <laughs> celebrating they won the whole World Cup. And it didn't quite feel the same, you know? <laughs> yeah. But it's all good. Yeah, the plan for us, bro, is that we, we both get there this year, eh? And we, we get to bring that home then. Yeah, 100%. Sweet brother, see my love for the family. You too, man. Brad Weber and I have played a lot of age group rugby um, with and against each other. So to be able to share this journey and to, I guess, score a try that he had such a massive impact in is pretty cool. He's a person I hold in a really high regard as well, not just for what he does on the field, but um, the man that he is off the field as well. So to be able to share that friendship and that um, work relationship together has been cool.